What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Darius Fishing. Uh, today I am actually headed to go sell my boat. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video, um, headed to Scottsboro, Alabama to go sell it right now. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm not gonna film a ton of me actually selling the boat, obviously, because that's kind of weird, but I'll film a little bit of it. Have some last videos of the boat. Been a really awesome boat. Um and then I'll kind of update you guys on some more things. So y'all just stay and stick along. I don't know how this video is going to turn out. It might be a short one, but it is going to be an exciting one because we're moving on. We're moving on from uh, moving on from that Ranger, and I'll let you guys know why here shortly. All right, so one thing you want to always remember to do when you sell a boat, make sure you get your waypoints off. So I've got two SD cards, and now I'm just gonna stick them in the graph, pull the waypoints off of it, and that way I've got them. But also for the person who you're selling, you don't want them to have a couple thousand waypoints of yours. So I'm gonna go and do that now. All right, so we just, just wrapped up all the paperwork. Didn't really want to show any of that stuff, but good thing is we got the boat sold. Right here, hate to see it go, but it's been a good boat. We filmed a lot of, out of this boat, caught a lot of fish out of this boat, and uh, now it's gonna make its way back to Texas. And it's gonna be a rainy trip. First thing we gotta do is get the cover on it, because it's pouring rain outside. No one wants to go fishing in that. No one wants to drag their boat 12 hours back home in that. So we're gonna get the cover on and then, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the shop shortly, very shortly. Gotta lift that, oh God, we got some stuff on the screen. Gotta lift that garage door up to get some light in here because currently we've only got these two lights. Uh, need to really find a electrician soon to get that fixed because I really hate how dark it is in here. Um, yeah, big problem, super dark on that end. But this video is about me selling my boat. Um, I know a lot of people don't understand like why I sold my boat. If we've got a fishing YouTube channel and why would you sell your boat? But um, I can't go into super a ton of details about it, but I have a deal um, with Ranger that's kind of like a pro deal. So I get a new boat every single year, you know, just carry over to the next boat, order a new one when it comes in, da da da, blah blah blah, bam 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 bam. So uh, similar to what the pros do, you know, they get a new boat every single year, they sell them. Just make sure they've always got the newest, the most updated, and if you if you can turn one every single year. You don't really lose money on them. You you kind of just roll it over, and the the depreciation doesn't lose too much. So you're able to keep doing that without really losing any money. The the value of the boat pretty much stays the same. So with that being said, I've ordered my new boat. I'll put it on the screen. Actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and put it on the screen right now. Bam. All right, that was really quick. I don't want to show you very much in detail, but I did get a 521L, which was bigger than my last boat. Um, for filming purposes. I feel like I need a little bit bigger boat um, and the price isn't too much of a difference. I also got a dual console so that whoever the passenger is, specifically considering my wife to be that person, um, it's just, it sucks. Like the bass boat world, like we've all got into this thing where you gotta have a single console boat because the pros run them, but it sucks. Like that's not fun. Your face gets what we do like this the whole time and like, no one likes that. Your hair's blowing everywhere, your hat falls off. You notice 90% of the time whose hat falls off is a passenger's hat. 
because he doesn't have a windshield because we're too cool to have a windshield on the passenger. I don't understand it. And I've always got a single console boat because the pros do it, but it's like for a thousand extra dollars or whatever is 1200 extra bucks, you can make that person comfortable. And it's, I, I would rather do that. So also it gives more, a lot more storage. Just, it's going to be better in general. So super excited about that. Newer boats are wide enough that the dual console, there's enough room to walk through the middle. I know everybody had that old Stratus. Y'all, you know, your buddy had a Stratus or you had that old Stratus, had the dual console and you had to tiptoe sideways to, to squeeze through the console <laughs> to get from your seat to the front deck. And it's like, you're hitting your yaya -ya on the front and your butt <laughs> on the back and you're, yeah, yeah. you're doing like this to get through. The new one, like it, everything's big and they're super sturdy and strong and it's, they're just badass now. So anyhow, I'm going to try it out this year. Hopefully I'll enjoy it. They're about nine weeks out, I think, eight or nine weeks out, I think. So I'm guessing the first of the year I'll have my boat. But until that time, we've got the kayaks back there. We've got my Pawpaw's boat, good buddy of mine, Andrew Nordby. I've got several buddies that have boats that I'm going to go fishing with. So I'm probably not going to miss on fishing much. I am going to drop down my three posts per week just for now because I don't want to promise that right now just because I, there might be some weeks where I can, but I'm going to try to go back to at least at least one, maybe two, just because I don't want to burn out just making videos so that I'm putting up something. I would rather wait a little bit. The videos might be a little longer. They might be comprised of a couple of days. Fishing's about to get really, really good, so maybe it will get to be still be three i don't know i just don't want you to be expecting three right now because i don't have a boat that makes things more difficult i'm on other people's time if i can get my pop off boat up here that's going to be a little bit better just because i'll have a boat here but anyhow so the thumbnail of this video was or like on the deal it says can i afford it um yes that that wasn't the problem the pro the, the deal was just every year I'm getting a new boat. Now's the time to sell it and I'm waiting on a new one. So that's that. Also, another video that everyone, like everyone has asked me, how can I afford to have the nice truck that I've got? Well, I'm not gonna do quotes because my truck's nice, but it's not as nice as like people think it is. Um, and that nice boat and like I, like, I guess our house, but I just wanna break down like what we have and why we have it and like how we get to have some of the things we have. Uh, I want to break all that down. I'm not going to do it on this video, but the next video that I post is going to be a QA. and um, I don't exactly know how I'm going to lay it out, but me and Hannah sitting side by side talking and answering questions from YouTube, Instagram, just about our life. Like um, you know, we're, we get to do cool things. We have nice stuff, but like we've worked really hard for it and some of it, like my truck is a super, super used truck. It looks cool, but it's not like a $50,000 truck. Like everyone's like, well, you got this badass truck. Like, yeah, it's nice, but it has 220,000 miles on it. Like it looks cool, but it's, it's the same as your truck. Probably mine just, anyhow. So if any of you have any questions at all, I'm going to talk about money on that video. I'm going to talk about how much money the, what I do brings in on the, on the video. I'm gonna talk about y'all sweet tea, a business that I started in 2015. I'm gonna talk about fishing. How much, like, what does fishing pay? Like, what, what, what do I even, what am I fishing for? Well, I don't have a YouTube channel. Um, so if you have any questions, I don't care if they're spicy, do I hate Luke Duncan, which answers yes. Um, anything that you possibly wanna know about me, drop it in the comment section down below. It's gonna get spicy, I know, but I just want to open myself up more. If I'm going to be a YouTuber, if I'm going to be an influencer and be and like be a friend to all of you, which I feel like I have become just by filming a bunch, I want you to know who I am. So who, I, anything you want to know, anything, what, what shirt size do I wear? Hell, I don't know. Just whatever questions that y'all want to know about me, about Hannah, about Coco, about how me and Hannah met. Um, that's a funny story about our <laughs> wedding. About just, just anything that y'all want to know. The, how me and Hannah met, one of y'all definitely need to type that down below because that's definitely a funny story. Uh, it has to do with Houston. <laughs> so today me and Hannah are, so we had this idea to, we're big Alabama fans, uh, Alabama football fans. So we're having all of our family come up and have a party in the shop. We are buying a projector tomorrow. So we're gonna have the game on that back wall. 
since it, is, since it is still kind of dark back on that side still, I think that's going to be a perfect spot for the game. And like if you walk over here, you can see there's like a natural light like thing over there and a window. So we're going to block both those off. It'll be dark back there. Have the game going. But today what we've got to do is kind of just straighten everything up. Get the rods put away. Get the kayaks put away. We're taking all the tackle. So this is everything that was in my boat. We're taking all this crap, putting it where it goes, then taking this big, huge wooden rack up there, which is a uh, pain in the arse. And just get everything straightened up. That party's in two weeks, so we got a little bit of time to clean. Probably not gonna do all of it today, but we're gonna attempt it. And then, uh, yeah, get all that stuff straight. We're just gonna get this place cleaned up. I want one for the party, to, I want it to have, I want it to be cleaned up, but two, just like, I want to get everything done now. So when my new boat comes in, this place is spotless. Um, I've got a lot of big things that I'm working on. One of them is merch. I want to start selling clothes. Um, and the and just so y'all are aware of it, uh, I'm not even hyping it up yet, but it is going to be badass. I'm putting a lot of money into it, one, and a lot of creativity into it. Um, as you know, my channel doesn't have like a logo um, yet. Like. I don't really, I want to have a logo, but one, I, I don't really care about that right now. Like the main thing I want to do is have y'all know who I am. Like I fish a lot. I do some cool things. I live in Gunnersville. And I felt like the most important thing was having a group of people just come into my life and realize who I am first. So I don't necessarily think a, a logo is the coolest and greatest thing, but my merch is going to be badass. It ain't going to have my name on it or my logo on it. What it's going to be is different words and phrases and like things that I do or say on my channel like I've noticed that I always say biggin and Hannah makes fun of me all the time for that because as soon as I set the hook I say biggin and a lot of comments people are making fun of me on it I say dude about a million times a video um there's a lot of things like that that I say I catch like when I'm watching the videos like when I'm editing I'm like dude I say biggin and dude a lot so what I'm going to do is have graphics made with those words. Anyhow, that's going to come out hopefully before Christmas, but I can't promise that. Um, it's going to be the best merch on fishing YouTubers, so be ready for that. It's not going to be all just, just logos of me on it. It's going to be cool. Y'all be ready for that. Until next time, uh, me and Hannah are going to get the shop cleaned up, and we will do the Q&A will be our next video. So... Whatever you want to know about me or Hannah, we're going to answer. I don't know how many of the videos probably going to we'll probably keep it to 20 minutes. I don't know how many questions we're going to answer. We're going to pick a handful of them, but like telling my story about how I got from like high, say high school to now is going to be a 10 minute talk. So then that might leave us 10 minutes to answer questions. However we do that. But without further ado, y'all drop a comment down below on what you want to know about me, about Hannah, about our life, anything. Sponsors, baits, my favorite fish and lure, my whatever you want to know. Favorite food, favorite color. Favorite food, favorite color is pretty dumb. I just pick, I just wear black or gray. So pretty, pretty boring. You might want to know mine. True. If you want to hand us favorite color, drop a <laughs> comment down below and we might pick you. But thanks for watching the video. Please don't forget to go subscribe to my channel. Um, if I hit what did I say? 40,000 subscribers by Christmas. 40,000 subscribers by Christmas. I'm going to give one year of Six Cents Super Six Box to one lucky fan. So that's $360. I'm going to swipe my own money and have you be able to have a monthly subscription box for an entire year of premium tackle. So I'll see you guys on the next one.